I'm so excited. I can't even talk. This is me officially starting the third draft of my high fantasy novel book one. I have done my editing. I have made my outline and everything is done. There's nothing left to do but start writing and I am so excited. Chapters done. dark um, because it is seven in the morning right now. I realized that I haven't really talked much about starting draft three since I started it and I kind of just started working on it. I'm about 15,000 words into it already. So one, writing a third draft is a lot easier than writing a first draft because I'm mostly just copying everything over. I'm not coming up with the words. They're already kind of there. Although whenever I edit something, of course, I'm rewriting whatever I'm editing, but other than that, I'm just pulling it over, so it's a lot faster. I am cleaning up some of the prose, even though that's not what I intended this draft to be. The other thing is, I am- I have changed the plot a little bit. I would say I changed the backstory more than anything else, and then I've changed kind of some of the characters' personalities, but when I was initially writing up the outline or like the edits, I thought it would be a lot- I thought it would be a lot bigger than this, but I guess not. And I'm pleasantly surprised. I wrote a scene yesterday that was about 1600 words, and then I realized I could write it better, and I thought of a way to write- rewrite it better in the shower this morning. So I'm going to be doing that today, and then um, I don't know how much time I'll end up having because uh, today's going to be a very long and busy day, and then tomorrow I might have some time in the morning, but I'm going to Atlanta tomorrow for a friend's birthday, and that's going to take up kind of my weekend. We're going to see, but I'm already 15,000 words in, and I started not that long ago. So I'm, I'm pretty content with the way, with the pace things are going and I'm having a really good time. So yay. Although I will say that I'm still in the beginning. So even 15,000 words in, I'm still in like, like the inciting incident that's sort of like, you know, just starting the story off. But I know that once it gets really into the weeds of everything, it's going to be a little bit harder to come up with stuff and to rewrite some of it. So I'm changing her love interest. So that means a lot of new scenes that weren't were originally with one character are now with a different character. So it might seem easy right now, but I, I know in my head that it might not stay that way. Bye. 
since I've recorded for this vlog. I feel like I say that a lot, but um, I don't know. I just lose track of what I'm recording and I sometimes forget that I'm even recording a vlog. So it's a miracle that I remember to do this. Today is a very gray and gloomy day. I don't know if you can see, you can't really see, but it's really gray and it's been kind of raining all day. And I am about to head to Fable Hollow, which is my favorite bookshop. Um, we go there all the time to just kind of work on our books and write because it's just so, you know, it's just got the right vibes for a fantasy, um, fantasy, co it's, you, you know, you'll see it. I'm really excited that I'm heading there right now because it's the perfect weather to go to Fable 4. But I'm really out of breath because I was listening to an audiobook. Um, I was listening to The Prison Healer and I just finished listening to it and I'm like physically shocked by that. Like I, by that ending, the last five chapters had like 700 different plot twists and they just like kept hitting me after it, like one at a time. I just kept getting hit over and over again. And I am like physically reeling from what I just like, I am in a state of distress. I will be thinking about these plot twists for a very long time. Oh my God, it was, I, I don't even think I'm ready to talk about it, but I'm gonna do a book review um, on my bookstagram um, once I collect my thoughts, like, I'm, like, truly shocked. But anyway, I'm gonna try to drive somewhat safely over to Fable and enjoy this rainy, gloomy weather and try not, try to remember how to think, um, and just, like, I don't, I don't even know. like I just woke up but I promise I am all dressed and ready for the day it's just so early it is 7 30 in the morning and it is still kind of dark outside and I'm so sleepy I have my stack of things that I need to do I am so tired and I'm gonna try I'm gonna make myself some coffee to try and wake up some and maybe get to work in like half an hour after I caffeinated a little bit. I've just had a lot of thoughts about um, working on the third draft and I figured I might as well talk about them out loud and maybe try to process how I'm feeling about it anyway. So I am about 22,000 words into this draft and I think that's a great accomplishment for the amount of time that I've been working on it. Initially, it was really easy to start this draft because a lot of the stuff didn't change in the first few chapters or if it did change it was minimal it wasn't super significant 
and a lot of it was just me copying it over. Now that I'm 20 something thousand words into it, it is starting to get a little bit more complicated. I've introduced more characters. The plot is really starting to pick up. So it's not just the introduction. I don't know if I showed you this, but I have an entire folder of just my outline and notes. Like this is like 30 pages. All that to say that this isn't as easy as I first thought it would be because the initial few chapters were so easy. I thought, oh, this is going by really fast. Now it's not so much, but in all honesty, I can see the book getting better in the smaller paragraphs. Like I can see that putting this paragraph here will make the book better overall. Personally, I love editing more than I like drafting because the work is already really, the hard work is already done and all I have to do is make it pretty. What I will say is that I have been taking out a lot of extra stuff. My second draft was bigger than my first draft, and um, I'm hoping that this draft will be smaller than the second one. I don't know. Um, I will figure it out, I guess. But with every draft, this starts to feel more like a published, a real published book to me, and I think that that's really exciting, and that's why we do so many drafts. So if you need motivation, this is it. Good morning. I am feeling very sick today. Um, I think it's just like a normal cold, but I'm feeling very congested and my eyes are watering and I'm overall just not feeling that great. I was just in bed all day yesterday, so I feel a little bit better than yesterday, but um, I'm still not fully recovered, so I will be taking it easy today. But today is kind of a busy day in that I have a lot of stuff to do um, for my book. So I have my regular writing to do. I didn't get to do that much yesterday because I couldn't even look at the screen. So I think I wrote like 500 words yesterday, which I'm still considering a win, con like considering my state yesterday. So um, I'm going to try to get to like at least a thousand today. I don't think that it will be too complicated because the next few scenes that I'm writing don't need that much editing. So um, we're good on that front. I also need to edit a vlog or at least start editing this vlog. Actually, this vlog because it's been going on. Um, it's been going on forever now and I don't know really when to end it. And it might be today. Who knows? I really don't know. But anyway, I need to do that. And then I need to make a few reels and schedule them and then I also need to well this is not something I need to do but this is something that I want to do I want to get a lot of reading done um, I'm currently reading I'm currently reading the Dragon Republic I finished the Poppy War not that long ago I think a couple weeks ago and I was devastated and completely heartbroken but I picked this up at like a little while after and this one is just another, it's like a different beast. It is just as heartbreaking, but for totally different reasons. It's like you get your heart broken, but then there's the aftermath of that and you're, you know, you're still crushed and you're still sad and you're still feeling these range of emotions. So it is very hard to read, but it's also, it's just like, I can't put it down. Um, also it's 600 pages, which I was like this, like, this does not look like 600 pages it is very like the pages themselves are very thin like they're super flimsy like almost like textbook pages but it like flies by so so far it's five stars and then i'm also listening to an audiobook called x hex which is good it's a very like very october coded book so if you're looking for something to read in the fall i would definitely I would definitely recommend reading this book in either September or October because the book is set in October and the witchy feeling, like the the October vibes are just there. So I'm reading it more for the witchy vibes to get into like the fall spooky season. So um, it is great so far. I'm also currently reading The Two Towers, which is going a lot slower than I expected because I've been just devouring the Dragon Republic instead. Um, those are my three current reads right now. And um, I have I have a lot lined up for fall, so I'm really excited. But anyway, um, I'm gonna try to get as much work done today as I possibly can.
Okay, I just finished editing the current this current vlog, um, and I edit edited a lot of it. I mean, more than I intended to, so I'm considering that a win. I don't think I'm gonna work on editing the vlog anymore today, but I do think I need to wrap it up in this in today at some point. I just need to find a good stopping point. I am going to take a little bit of a break before I jump into writing, which is what I want to do next. And then I think after writing, I'm going to take a little bit of a lunch break and then I'm going to jump into creating content for my reels and scheduling some stuff. So overall, I think I'm doing really good productivity wise and I am consider, I mean, productivity wise, considering how I feel physically. <laughs> that's it um i'm gonna try i'm gonna end this vlog here because um it's been going on for a very long time but i am about 25 to 30 thousand words into draft three and considering that i just started this vlog and now i'm at like that many words i think it's going really well it is definitely a new sort of challenge compared to writing a second draft especially than writing a first draft but i am actually enjoying this a lot um quite a bit more than i enjoyed writing the first draft or the second draft so, but i'm gonna be vlogging all that and just also kind of making a list of how i write a third draft so i can later make a video um a sit down video on how i do that because i have those videos for how i write a first draft and how i write a second draft so I figured I should just continue that series and just kind of walk through my process there. And yeah, so if you got this far, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.